Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope the sun is shining where you are today. Right, it's Friday morning here in Vegas and it's, uh, do -do -do -do. it's half past eight in the morning. I'm going to do some cooking before it gets too, too hot. I do have the air conditioning on so you might hear a very slight hum in the background. I do apologise but literally if I've got anything in the oven or cooking it's just going to get so hot in here. Let's jump into this video straight away. We are going to do an air fryer recipe for you. Now I'm trying something that I've never tried before. I actually saw this recipe on TikTok and I thought it looked absolutely fabulous and we're gonna give it a go, why not? Let's, uh, I'm not known for my cooking, let's put it that way, but I'm always willing to give something a go. So, first of all, let me get my air fryer out and show you what mine is. I will be completely honest with you, I've not used it before. This is my husband's gadget. He loves to use this whenever he can, so really and truly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I will try and find a similar one in my description and link it for you guys. So next I need some potatoes. Now because I'm fudging this recipe a little bit, um, I'm doing less chicken than what the recipe called for. So I really don't know how many potatoes I need. Do four or five and if there's any left over, I'll show you so you can kind of gauge um, if you want to follow along and do this recipe, um, you can gauge how many that you actually need. Yeah, let's get these potatoes um, peeled and then we need to boil them. We also need a yellow onion. Get your spices ready. Salt, black pepper, garlic, and paprika. Chicken is now cooked. So I've separated all the meat. The skin is over here. That's gonna go in the trash. However, these are all the bones. Do not throw these away. We are going to need these and we're gonna clean them up. I know it sounds a bit weird, but <laughs> trust me on this one. I'm now gonna chop all the chicken up really finely. The chicken is now chopped and the bones have now been cleaned. So no gristle, no skin, no anything on there, just bones. Now we're gonna mash the potatoes up. I do it the old fashioned way with a fork. I try to use a potato masher and I can never get on. So mind you, this is a little difficult trying to hold the phone in one hand. <laughs> Let me put the phone down. So this part, I am completely winging it. I don't know how much of each to put in but I'm only gonna put a tiny bit of salt in because we don't cook with a lot of salt. It's just not something me and my husband have ever done. So look, I'm only putting a tiny, tiny bit of salt in. Black pepper, I don't know that much. Next we have the garlic powder. Mm, this much. Ooh, what's that? Oh, and on my nose. Then we have the paprika. Pra, paprika. Give it a mix. Next we're adding the chicken. I'm not sure if we need all of this chicken. This seems to be an awful lot of mixture for six bones. Next we're gonna prepare the chicken bones. Six chicken bones, mixture. And that looks like an awful lot of mixture, but let's just uh, go with it. Clean hands, you're gonna build chicken bone up with the mixture. So it looks like a chicken drumstick. And you want to try and keep them the same sort of size. These are so big they look like turkey legs. Okay, so it did actually use all the mixture, so that's good. But I did end up using those five potatoes. So just to give you an idea of quantities. Now we want to put them in breadcrumbs. I've chosen just the Kroger brand, their regular old unflavoured breadcrumbs. I'm just going to put them in a pan, in a bowl. Now the one thing about an air fryer is that sometimes it will not brown. So I've got a feeling that these might come out a little bit anemic looking. Now the original recipe that I took this from 
was a TikTok. If I can figure out a way of how to link the original TikTok, I will in my description box. I've never done that before. But what that called for was to cover these drumsticks in flour and then deep fry them. But we are trying to be a little bit more healthy. So we're gonna go with the air fryer and breadcrumbs. Okay, it's now ready, it's saying add food. Okay, it's counting down for me and halfway through, um, I'm going to rotate them. If you're new to my channel and you've just happened upon this video, every Sunday, there are four of us housewives that like to do a collaboration and we call ourselves the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. We've been doing this for almost a year and we have great fun and we'd love to include you guys in on suggestions uh, for us to create videos for. We're all British. I happen to live in Las Vegas, but the other three wives live in England. That's Tina from Tina's Talk Time, Maria from Maria Crocker, and Karen from Geordie Grandma. And I'd love for you all to go over to their channels, watch their videos, and subscribe to them. Okay, let's see what they're looking like. I'm gonna give them a turn. I hope they don't fall to pieces. The dogs are now in, and Buster thinks that this is his lunch, I think. Casualty. Hold on, let me put my phone down. Let me put the lid down. Continue cooking. So I thought it would be fun just to plate them up in a long dish. I mean, if you've got a whole spread going on, a whole buffet, I think they would look quite nice. I have probably put too much on. They do tend to look a crossover between a chicken and a turkey leg. But um, I'm gonna have to let these cool because these are so hot before I do a taste test. So I've made myself a coffee whilst these cool down. There is something that I wanna share with you that has absolutely nothing to do with this video whatsoever, but it's something that I learned this morning that I think is really useful to know. Um, yesterday I was driving my car and I had zero problems with my car whatsoever. Last night my husband took my car and he was in it maybe two minutes and the engine light came on. Now, the engine light didn't just come on and stay on, it came on and was flashing. So, this is something that I learned this morning. If your engine light comes on and stays on, it means take it to the garage soon. There's probably something that needs to be looked at. If your engine light comes on and starts flashing, it means pull over right now, get yourself a tow truck, get it to the garage because your engine could seize up. And that's what happened to us last night, well, my husband last night in my car. So I'm without a car right now. Luckily we took the extended uh, warranty. So they're going to get, give us a hire car, which is a good thing because I've got work for the next two days. So I definitely need a car to get to work. But yeah, I thought that was a useful piece of information to share because I didn't know that. To me, a flashing engine light seems a little less severe than one that comes on and stays on, but you know, who knows? So I'm gonna sit down, drink my coffee and wait for these to cool down. Then we'll do a taste test. Okay, let's see if these have cooled down. They have cooled down a bit. I'll take the one that fell apart a little bit and let's see what this tastes like. Well, even though it hasn't browned, it is crunchy. Mm. These would actually be really nice if you had a dipping sauce as well. Mm. I do like these. But next time, I think I am gonna try it the other way, even though it's not very healthy. I'm gonna try it with the flour and deep fry them and just see what the difference is. Let me know if you give this recipe a go. Right, I'm gonna grab my coffee and sit down and watch the other wives' videos. Look what I forgot to add. The onions, I just put the chicken in the fridge and I'm like, what's that? It's the onion. What a wally, and this is why I don't cook. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now in England, we upload at 7.30 a.m. If you wanna get a sneak preview of my video, I do have to upload at 11.30 p.m the night before because of the time difference. So if you wanna watch mine earlier, mine will be up and ready to watch. If you live in America, you can. So 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now next Sunday, we have a bit of a challenge, but if you can't wait till then, 
watch my Monday motivational video tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. We all appreciate all of you and I'll see you soon.